So the most important exercise and the most important lick in this video is this one right here. So if you only take one thing away from this video, take this one, okay? This is a great finger exercise and it will also teach you every scale and mode to play in so that you could improvise at will. Okay, um, another exercise that is purely a finger exercise is the chromatic scale, which you're probably familiar with if you're looking at these videos. So let's just go over that quickly. Okay, another scale is the five-string arpeggio. Uh, these arpeggios are actually not that difficult to pull off, so I added some bonus positions of uh, play some inverted chords to make it a little bit more challenging. But the first chord shapes in this arpeggio exercise will make you, like, lightning. Okay, this three-string arpeggio is very similar to what Malmsteen does in his song uh, Blitzer Craig. So this is just good to practice arpeggios in general and it's a little bit more musical so that it doesn't bore your ear. <laughs> Okay, this lick is just a finger tapping lick that sort of descends the scale, even though there's a little trick or two in there. This will help open up your ear to all the different combinations of tapping positions that are possible within a scale. <laughs> Okay, these arpeggios are sort of cool. Um, I'm just going to throw them at you and not explain the music theory behind it. But um, what's great about them is they're very comfortable to play.
Okay, this exercise is actually a guitar part from the song Fire and Ice by Malmsteen, and it sounds musically pretty decent, neoclassical style, but what's also cool about it is it's an awesome finger exercise. So you have your chromatic scales and you have your arpeggios, okay? Both of those work different parts of the muscles in your hands, but this exercise works a third part of the muscle that's responsible for, for alternating your fingers and really helps build finger independence. So let's look at that exercise. Okay, this is just a pedal toning exercise that also helps with independence of your fingers. So not only do you want your fingers not only do you want your fingers moving fast, but you want them to have independent strength. Okay? So that your ring finger is not dependent on the strength of your middle finger, for example. Each finger is independently strong. So here's an exercise for that. Okay, so this exercise is basically what I do is if I'm improvising a very quick run, I go on a pattern of descending four notes at a time. Descend four notes, ascend one note. So, ba -da 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 -da. And I throw uh, that, it, that type of thing in there very quickly and sort of randomly. So it's easier to just show you a couple examples of that. Okay, this, this lick is one Zach Wilde does a lot, and it caught my ear off the No More Tears album. I don't have a specific song in mind, because it's a pattern that's used by a lot of guitarists. Uh, I also threw my own little thing in there to mix it up a bit, but this is an essential to learn. <laughs> So that's it. Now, if you try to play along with any of that, you might notice something weird, that you're not quite blending in. And that's because all of that is a step down. If you're in standard tuning and want to play along and learn this not so fast and in standard tuning, don't worry, I thought about you. For the rest of this video, all you're going to hear is just the tab alone, 90 beats per second, and you could play along with it very slowly, and it's just going to go from one exercise to the next exercise. Here you go.